Hey what's happening guys, welcome to your 15th Vue.js tutorial and in this video I want to give you a quick introduction to components. Okay then, so this lesson is going to serve as a very quick primer to components. We're going to dive much deeper into them in later tutorials. So what is a component? Well a component is just a reusable piece of code or template that we can use in different Vue instances, right? So right now we have two view instances right here, view app one and view app two, and we have two placeholders for them in the HTML file. So what if we want to output some kind of template or functionality in each one of these two view instances? Well, we could write it separately in each one of these, or we could create a component which we can then inject into each one of these view instances, right? So we're just creating it once and using it in multiple places. We're reusing the component. So how do we create that component? All we need to say is view dot component and then this method right here is going to take two parameters the first one is going to be a string which is the name of this component i'm going to call this greeting and then the second parameter is going to be a function and inside this function we can pass through some different properties now the first property i want to show you is going to be called template and this is going to be the template which is rendered when we use this component okay so it's going to be a string and we're going to pass through some html so this is going to be a p tag and i'm just going to say hey there i am a reusable component okay close that p tag off and now if we use this component in each of these view instances this is going to be output to the dom so how do we use this component well, all we need to do is output this name of the component in tag format in this index file. So if I were to output this component, I can just say, open my tag, greeting, close it. Now this is not a HTML tag, right? You know that. So what Vue.js does is look at this and say, hey, that looks awfully like a component that has been created called greeting. So what I'm gonna do is take this template and where I find this greeting tag, I'm gonna replace it with that template right there. Okay, so if I just copy this now and paste it down below as well, then we can reuse this component, this template in two different instances, two different sections on our website. So if I save that and view it in a browser, we can see these two things right here in view app one and view app two. Just check this out. If I inspect these components, we're not seeing that greeting tag. We're just seeing the template. So the template takes over the greeting tag completely and this disappears, right? That's the way it works. Okay, so we can also pass through data into this view component, much like we would in here where we say data, and that is an object with our different properties in, such as name. We can do the same kind of thing in these components, but there's one little difference. Instead, this time data is not an object directly. Data must be a function, right? And this function then returns the object. So we return an object. And now we can have our different name properties or title properties in here. So why is this? Well, when we're creating a view instance like this, there's just one instance, right? And that returns a single data object. And that's fine because there's just one instance of this view. However, when we're creating a component, there's going to be multiple instances using the same kind of definition. And if we just use a plain object instead of this function right here, then basically what we're doing is saying all those instances are going to share that object by reference, right? So they're all going to have the same object, if you like, the same data object. And if we change the data in one of those components on the page, it's going to update in every single component, right? That we use every instance of that component. By providing data as a function right here, every time we create a new instance of it, we're just calling this function to return a fresh copy of this data. Right? So if we change this data in one of the instances of the component, then it's not going to update it in another one. And I can demonstrate that now. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, output this name right here. So I'm going to say name. And if I save this, we're going to view it in a browser and we can see that there. So I'm going to create a function now, a method, which is going to change this name in the component. So we can pass through methods the same way we would in a view instance, right? This is still an object. And inside here, I want to create a method called change name. And this is going to change the name of this thing right here, right? So it's going to be a function. And inside this function, we can still access this data right here the same way we would in a view instance by saying this 
dot whatever the property is called. So this dot name, and I'm going to set it equal to Mario. Okay, so now we need a way to call this function. So I'm going to place a button right here. I'm going to do a full stop and then do a button. And then this button is going to have a click event attached to it. So first of all, inside the button, we'll say change name, right? And then this button is going to say V on. That's how we listen to events. And it's going to be a click event. I'm going to set that equal to this function right here, change name. So we can say change name. And if I save this now and view it in a browser, we're going to see this button right here. Now, if I change it here, it changes this to Mario, but this does not change to Mario, right? So that's the reason we're using this function to return the data, because if it was just a simple object, this data would be shared between both instances here. And if we changed one, then it would change to the other. And I can demonstrate this by doing a little trick. If I define my data up here, say for example, I say var object, or var data rather, is equal to this object, and I say name is Yoshi, right? Then if I return, instead of this object right here, if I just return data, this is now external, right? And this is gonna be shared between each instance of this component. So now if I do this, then if I click on one, it will update on each one. You can see it's updated on both of them. So we're kind of tricking Vue.js here. This is what they didn't want us to do, and that's why we return a fresh object each time. So if I just undo a little bit here, that's why we return a fresh object each time for those component instances, okay? So a little confusing at first, but that's how we use data in components, and that's how we can create components to create reusable code and templates we can use in different sections on a website. Like I say, we're gonna delve into this much deeper as we create single page components later on and it will all kind of click into place.